All right, afternoon, guys. Hey, Dave. What's going on? Yeah, the electrical system's looking pretty good. Yeah, just trying to tighten a little bit of wire right now. My name is David Tilley. I'm an associate professor of environmental science and technology at the University of Maryland in College Park. Uh, I'm also the CEO and co-founder of Living Canopies, which is a startup that came out of my research in my lab at the university. Well, Living Canopies wouldn't exist without all the student interns that I've had work for me over the last several years. I try to infect as many of the students as I can with entrepreneurship and they're really seeing that as a way to scale technologies and to have you know, good impact across the world and across the state and across the region because it gives you this opportunity to take an idea and to really turn it into something that's very large and can affect and improve the lives of a lot of people. Deep down our inspiration for all of our living technologies is to make people love nature. So this is the uh, prototype of the cool green shelter for bus stops. So what we have is a, a typical bus shelter in, in form, but what we've done is turned it into a green roof. So you have four feet by 10 feet of green roof that's planted with living live plants. And then on the ends of the, uh, of the roof, you have our living canopies that extend out about three or four feet. So you get some extra shade from the the plants and then in the back side of the bus shelter you have the solar panels. So we have 300 watts of solar panels. Those panels provide enough power to, to light the, the bus stop at night as well as provide power to charge a phone or your personal device. Okay, a key feature of, the pos of making this work is our technology that allows us to capture rainwater that falls on the green roof and the solar panels. That water is directed down through the leg of the bus shelter and then stored in a water cistern or rain barrel that sits underneath the seat. And then we have an electronic and control systems. It's a smart control system, meaning that it knows how much water is in the, uh, the soil itself. So when the soil dries out, the device knows to turn the pump on and to irrigate or water the, uh, the plants. So someone sitting under a vegetated planted canopy is going to feel quite a bit cooler, maybe 10 degrees cooler than they would if they were just sitting under a regular uh, bus shelter that's made of a hard metal surface. So we see there's a lot of potential. Just in the United States, there are 500,000 bus stops, but there's only 100,000 bus shelters. So we want people to really think about nature and how it can provide benefit to them in a lot of different ways and make their lives better, healthier, and have a, a more prosperous future.